Hello guys, and welcome back to The Witcher. Sorry about the bad audio on the last episode. Alright, let's see how we get on today. Alright. We have to ask travellers about Yennefer. Let's ask her around. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Let's have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Are you on this list? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white, gooseberries and... <clears throat> yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Go. Oh, bit of trouble. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. A witch. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, you done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Now oh, let's look at this how it's board then. Slower. It's German now. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. 
What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything. Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. It's a blokes. He's big. Stinks of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Lost his boots in the rush. Freak. Your gran told me about Smith's boy. Lad went missing one day, so he the wrote emperor an shall guide us straight to no poking him, ask him. When he started twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, so it were. Except it was some drowner that had sucked on. Go on, and get out! Just prophesy before he turned his toes up. That wall was mine. Lucky he couldn't live to see it himself. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Bird. I 
Maybe around her claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. Why not talk to a non-human? Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Try me, peasant. I could use the practice. Not your legs, so let's go see the smith. And take my advice. Don't try anything else. Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Now? You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you! I, 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 I was drunk! Didn't know what I was doing! I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Hang him! Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Oh. I think those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. Return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got.
Won't buy anything yet. See what we can find. So long. Vampire-eyed Hellraiser. Oh, it's up. Running over. We'll see. It's okay. Gamma. Slow now. Whoa. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. <coughs> I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. A sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Fine, I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought. But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Oh, oh guys. Well, there's a point of interest on there, so let's go see what this is about. Daddy treasure. I'll we'll go and help out him on his quest. I'll ah, probably get that one from up here. Yes.
way, guys. Did all right. It's the bar. Two diagrams. Come on, Roach. Back up here. 